everyone, it's Chrissy from the Children's Museum in Easton. I am doing a second video in the same day, so we have the same clothes on, but it is a different day in our vid video world. Um, today we are doing Cloud in a Jar. This one I actually really like to do um, when we're doing um, lessons on weather and um, a rain clouds, anything that has to do with um, meteorology. So what you'll need is shaving cream, um, don't use gel, it doesn't work. Um, so um, shaving cream, you'll need a clear glass or a cup of water, um, another little container of water, um, a dropper or a pipette, and then some food coloring. All right, so the first step, um, Nick, can you add a, a drop or two of food coloring to the little container of water, please? Oh, there you got one in there already. <laughs> Awesome. We didn't bring a spoon out, but you can use that to kind of mix it up. So the idea behind this activity is to um, get a basic understanding of how clouds work. We know that they're up there um, in the sky. It's kind of hard for little ones to understand that um, there's a function to them other than just looking pretty and, and making animal shapes and all fun things. Um, so what we do is we take a clear glass, we shake up some shaving cream, and we score some on the top. Oops. Ah, can't tilt it. Do it that way. Okay. So basically what we do, and I just got my arm in it. Um, basically what we do is, um, well, what I would normally do is have them pretend that the, the shaving cream is the cloud and the clear water down below, it's just like air. So the idea is to show that clouds, um, and this is, this is to explain to little, little ones, um, but clouds are like sponges. They absorb as much um, moisture as possible. And eventually like a sponge, they just can't hold anymore. And what happens? It rains. So you wanna um, get some water, the colored water into your dropette. Um, and you're going to squeeze, I'm sorry, I assume that you knew what to do. So you're going to drop some in. You don't have to actually put it in, just drop it, yeah. And so this is, this is basically the cloud absorbing moisture. You can talk about precipitation and condensation, all the different, oh, keep doing. Okay. And we're going to keep doing it until eventually that cloud can't hold it anymore and you'll start to see something. So let's see. It's really bright out here, which is great, the sun, but let's see if you can see anything happening. Probably do a little bit. There you go. I start to see something on the side. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but you'll start to see it slowly. You're slowly able to see. Oh, there's a little bit. Do you see it? The blue is slowly starting to break through the cloud. So eventually it just can't hold anymore. Oh, there's a big gust of it. There you go. So this is a fun one to do. You could do different colors. You could do, um, you know, it's more, it could be like an art, arts and craft kind of activity too, but um, it's a good science activity, like I said. It's awesome. And you can see how much it'll absorb if it finally just rains. See if you can get a good score in there. Oh, nice. So hopefully you have fun with this one. We've had a lot of rain um, the last few days. So you may want to hold off on doing this one if you don't want to talk about rain, but um, it's a nice way to simulate some um, April showers that are that are here. Oh, that was a good one. All right. Well, hopefully you liked this one. Have fun, enjoy, and stay safe. And we will be back at it again tomorrow for you. Take care.